All right, folks, I'm outside, and there he goes. Just doing a little uh, testing with my, I won't say testing, a little trying out with uh, my Olight flashlight. It's the uh, M22 Warrior, and I just put an Olight battery in there, and this is really more about the battery than it is the flashlight. And uh, this flashlight on high is supposed to be 950 lumens. Let's see if I can get myself a little higher. And... Uh, it only lasts that high for about eight minutes or so, and then uh, it drops down to about 500. Uh, on medium setting, it's 250 lumens, and on low, it is 20 lumens. Um, so anyhow, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire this up. i got it pointing up towards right wing Tom's house, so you guys can kind of see that uh, that light at, at the bottom of the screen looks kind of orange. There's actually light on the front of his garage, and his garage is about, I'd say, 80 to 100 yards away we're really going to be looking at the trees behind his house which are about 100 and 100 to 125 yards away so once I shine it up there are you able to see maybe I'm pointing at the wrong thing and I'm pointing at the neighbors so that white house back there which is lit up and then I'm going to try to hit those trees behind it I just don't know if this flashlight's going to do it. Let's try something else. Alright, so I'm having trouble picking up uh, any distance or real range with this camera. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just shooting out into the front street, which is about 20, 25 yards away. And so that is the Olight being driven off the Olight battery. And uh, that's supposed to be around 900 lumens or so. And uh, it's pretty bright and it's lighting up. And it looks like the battery's going to drive this flashlight just fine. No problems. That's a low setting. You, it's not going to pick the camera's not going to pick that up. Maybe some reflection. And then that is the medium, which uh, you can pick up. It's about 250 lumens. What I'm going to do is, is that uh, there's a three hour expected runtime at medium range or medium uh, illumination on this. And uh, so, what we're going to do is, we're going to put this in a Pyrex dish. We're going to turn a clock on and we're going to let it run for three hours and see if the flashlight uh, sustains this brightness with the new Olight battery. All right, <clears throat> still continuing to do some testing of the uh, Olight 18650 battery, and I happen to put it in this Olight flashlight. And uh, what we're going to do is a runtime test. And if you take a look at this box, somewhere around here, it says that this thing will run at, uh, I think it said 250 lumens for, let's just check that and make sure, for three hours. Now we did a little bit of playing around with this flashlight and the new battery last night, but it's charged to the point where I would consider it good. Yeah, so it's uh, according to this chart, 250 lumens, it's supposed to go for three hours. Now I'm afraid that this test is going to burn my house down, <laughs> so we're going to use this, uh, that's low, that's medium. We're going to let it sit there in this Pyrex dish. So according to my phone, we're at 343. We'll check back at 643 and see if it's still running. Uh, the objective pass-fail criteria of the test is that the flashlight will still be on three hours from now, and that will mean that the battery's performance exceeded the expectations. Thanks, guys. All right, folks, we're back, and uh, let's do a quick time check. So we're one minute away from uh, three hours, and uh, this thing is still on. It's bright. The flashlight's kind of hot still. It never got uh, overly heated or not. Um, but it's, it's still working three hours, and uh, it's brighter than I would have expected it to have been. So I'm going to go ahead and say that the battery exceeded our expectations. Um, it ran for three hours on the medium setting for the Olight M22 Warrior. All right, thanks. All right, folks. For the last piece of this uh, video, what I wanted to do is take the Olight. This is uh, still the battery has not been charged since... Um, we charged it initially, and we did some beam shots and stuff like that, and then uh, we ran the three-hour test uh, on medium, the output of 250 lumens on that flashlight, which uh, it said it would do for about three hours. And uh, at the end of that three hours, the light was still going strong and still had plenty of juice left in it. So uh, one final thing I wanted to do is I wanted to put this battery back in this tester or charger 
and uh, and see where it is from a voltage and a capacity standpoint. Um, what I can tell you is that this uh, f battery so far seems like it's performing pretty well. Uh, I'm not an expert. I don't have all kinds of fancy equipment. I can't measure lumen output or degradation rates on a flashlight, uh, and, and I'm somewhat limited in what I can do here. But um, this performs as well as any battery that I've had and, and better than most of the ones that I have. So I would not have any problem buying more of these. Uh, you can make that determination if you want to buy some or not. So there it is at uh, 3.5 and see what it says from a capacity standpoint. So it's, it's showing that it's pretty much drained, uh, you know, no, no bars. Uh, I would expect it to be a little bit higher, but still a 3.9. I mean, I've seen these things run down to, to 2 to 1 point something. Um, so I'm very happy with it. Uh, at the end of the day, uh, I don't see any problems or any reason not to buy this battery. All right, that's it. Thanks, everybody.